What is up guys? So, it's near the end of the month. You know what that means. Pickup video. Stay tuned. We have several games. It wasn't the best month, but it was a pretty decent month. So, let's check it out. Happy Thanksgiving everyone, today is Turkey Day. Yeah. Ah, turkey, turkey! So basically, it was nearing the end of the month, and November wasn't an insane month for pickups. Um, some of you still know that I'm coming off the, buying the Twitch, the Twitch, the Switch last month. So I'm kind of running hard on cash, plus, well it's Christmas and I have a family, I have three boys, two teenagers now, one just has celebrated his 13th birthday, and I have a two year old. So yeah, it's kinda, you know, and as some of you know, I have a stay at home wife, um, and yep, yeah, I work a pretty crazy hours at an ethanol plant, so you know, not money's not tight, but it's tight enough that I have to, you know, support the family first, and my hobby second, so. But nonetheless, there's always great deals out there and you never can stop looking. And, you know, like I said, sometimes with these long hours I get kind of bored and scout Macari, eBay, and sometimes Facebook stuff pops up. But most of this stuff um, was either giveaways or I had a game show up from somebody and I don't even know where it came from. So that's one of the mysteries in this day of turkey and eating and of course like I said in my shout out video uh, maybe a couple days ago maybe a week ago now I can't remember exactly but uh, a couple days ago um, that's what night shift does to you guys your brain gets scrambled and days just but but yeah Thanksgiving's about uh, gratitude being thankful and everything and like I said in my shout out video I'm very thankful for all you guys that watch this um, and just thankful for everybody that hangs around comments and stuff like that. You guys are the real, real champs in this channel. Um, I just try to talk my head off sometimes. So, without that being said, without further ado, let's start going on the picks. So, I'll just kind of do. Uh, so, first, we'll just do Mercari. This is what I picked up online. Um, these were two different lots, pretty cheap. I think I paid. Uh, we'll go with the first one with the Nintendo games. I think I paid about, I think it was $13 free shipping. Nothing insane here. Um, I have, I think, 110 Nintendo games, and I've kind of just been watching, and I always just buy them in lots, especially if they're cheap enough and free shipping, because if you buy them single, single, singled out, they over time they get very expensive fast. So I usually buy them in lots, but we just have a couple simple ones. Uh, we have Spot. Let's see, I believe this is pronounced Akari Warriors. This is the second one. Um, <laughs> I love the angry video game nerd one when uh, he plays the first one. That one guy is singing that song and stuff was pretty funny. If you haven't checked that out, go ahead and go check out Angry Video Game Nerd when he does Akari Warriors number one. And then we got the famous, uh, yeah, the Hood of Robin. We have Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Not to be confused with Aladdin and the 40 Thieves. That right there is my one Disney Plus reference for these few videos. We've been watching the heck out of Disney Plus, just to let you know, with all those kids and stuff. So we have that lot right there with the three Nintendo games. Um, going off this one, this one was a this was a nine dollar grab. Now my buddy, I noticed um, on their last uh, video, I think it was, I think it was their last one. Um, Pretty sure it was Mark. I don't know if he said something about this, but Mark from Garage Gamers. Um, he picked up, I believe, I'm, I'm kind of going off the top of my head. It's been a while since I've actually seen it, but he got all the Bioshocks. So that, that kind of, when this popped up, it made me think of him. And I do not have all the Bioshocks. I only have Infinite, and it was because it was a free game one time on uh, Xbox Game Pass. So basically, yeah, I just went ahead, nine bucks. 
It's got the annoying little GameStop stickers and stuff on there, but I picked up Bioshock 1, 2, and Infinite for like 9 bucks. Guy wanted 10, I tried to talk him down to 8, and he said, come on man, it's just going to cost me this much to ship it, and I was like, man. Yeah. So, sometimes it's not nice to wheel and deal too much, so he, he told me what's up. And I said, you know what, you're right, it will probably cost you about 5 or 6 dollars just to ship this alone, plus Macari's fee on top of that, so, you know, I helped the brother out and everything too, so I gave him what he wanted, but, I, in the end, I got what I wanted, because now I have all the Bioshocks, and the discs are in great condition, and like I said, they, they might have this annoying little GameStop sticker on there, but it happens, oh, that's funny. I almost thought it was broken right here, but it's just the, it's just part of the thing. <laughs> Alright, so going on, uh, everybody knows how I like thrift stores, and unfortunately, location of uh, where I live does not have many. So, uh, yeah, so whenever I spot something in these places on my days off, I always pick it up. So, this is just a quick one dollar grab. Um, Got another Mario hat. It was actually, it just says Super Super Mario Bros. in the back. Just so happened to be uh, at a thrift store, I never really ever get anything. And, you know, I never check the hat section because I go, why would I check the hat section? So I'm sitting there, I picked up a few things, clothes items and stuff for my kids. And I was sitting there and I was like, I just happened to look up because they had all the hats, you know, back there behind the thing. And just like, oh. There's a Mario M right there, so I snagged that one up. But I think, yeah, like I said, I think I paid a buck. Nothing too fancy, but, you know, I always like having stuff like that. And I like wearing hats, especially for videos, in case my hair is all crazy like it kind of is tonight. But, you know, I like hats. So, now we'll go with what else we picked up in local thrift stores. Now, this was not a fun little grab. Uh, we just got a little wall AG. You can see right there, I think it paid 50 cents for it. Um... I, I'm just a big fan of Waluigi. I just get a laugh every time, especially when me and my wife are playing Mario Party, and I always pick him, and he's just like Waluigi, and just makes me laugh. Uh, I don't really use him too much in Mario Kart, but just a fun little thing to see. You know, I always check uh, discount toy bins and stuff like that because sometimes you find cool stuff like that. So now I got a little Waluigi. I got to freaking clean up, but he's kind of dirty. But uh, otherwise, I picked all these up at the same place. Um, I hit three, I think, thrift stores that one day, and I didn't get anything, but we did make off of some games. Um, I think I paid a buck a piece. Uh, not really too into much first-person shooter games, especially too many military, like, straight military games, but we do have Soldiers of Fortune, uh, Gold Edition, uh, and then we have SOCOM 3. Uh, yeah, U.S. Navy SEALs. I, I remember playing the crap out of, I think it was SOCOM 1 or 2 with my buddy. Um, back in the day when PlayStation was like first online and stuff like that. And you had to have that special little modem to hook up and everything. So, yeah. And then we also picked up, uh, same place. Kind of just fillers, but we got Cabela's Outdoor Adventures. This one was actually kind of cool to see, but then we have, uh, Sonic. Sega All-Stars Racing for the Wii. Like I said, Buck, why not? But then we'll just kind of move into the next area. Now this was part of the giveaway. And this is, as you can tell, or as I was saying in the beginning part, this just randomly showed up. I don't recognize the name off the top of my head. I kind of went back through my Instagram to see because a lot of times I like to help some people out, gift them games if they need it, or if I see something I know somebody would like, uh... I snag on to it and just send it to them, you know, just no expecting payment, you know, depending on how much it was to ship, sometimes I want money back to ship, but otherwise, you no, know, it's just free, you know. So I saw this, bud, I know you'd like it, send it to you. But this showed up brand when I looked back through my stuff, and I, I don't even know where it came from, dude. But it's cool, um, it's cool just to get stuff like that, you know, but it's just... Something, you know, Titanic. Hidden Mysteries. It actually looks like a pretty decent, sweet game. Um, unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to open it because, as you can see, it is sealed. And I do not have a sealed Wii game yet. 
I might try and pick it up sometime down the road if I find it somewhere cheap and just because I don't know if you can see the images are kind of hard to look back there but just check it out sometime you get a chance um, it looks actually like it might actually be a pretty cool game um, so we might have to look into that and uh, I know I decided to jump in the giveaways but I see something that I did happen to pick up so I went to an Iowa Hawkeye game they played Illinois fighting Illy uh, over the weekend I took my wife my wife's a big Hawkeye fan I personally you know I love the Hawkeyes and I love uh, the Nebraska Cornhuskers and about anything in the area but She's a big Hawkeyes fan, um, never been to a football game and stuff, so I took her and she was super excited and we had a blast. Uh, if you guys got me on Instagram, I'm sure you see some pictures of the fun we had. But, yeah, I saw this at TJ Maxx. Now, I'm getting more into trying to build decoration in my game room, too, because to me it's kind of boring. Um, I see all these game rooms, I did my game room tour and, you know, I got good feedback. But... For the most part, some of it's pretty plain, so I've been looking more for uh, decorations and stuff like that. So I picked this up at TJ Maxx for Buck, and he lights up. Can't beat that. Did I say I picked it up for Buck? I picked it up for 10 bucks. But, yeah, so nothing wrong with it. Really sweet. Just lights up and everything. It's pretty awesome. Um, I love that. And this is just going to kind of lead into what else I did now. Uh... I think it's Nintendo Switch 86. I think that's the exact name for him. On Instagram, did a Halloween special where he just posted uh, Halloween related stuff and he put a certain tag down. And uh, yeah, he looked through it all and then he kind of, the stuff he liked and if he did it just right, he did a drawing and stuff like that. Well, I picked up one of these awesome Pixel Pals from that giveaway. So thank you so much for doing that. Um, then I came to find out later on this is actually one of the more rare uh, Pixel Pals. So it actually comes in the box with the try me button and I know it's kind of hard to see because it, it, it lights up legit like really good and it's you know I can see it perfectly in here but once again it's kind of hard to thing but we got a sweet little pixel pal and I've seen these going on eBay and stuff like that not like this the other ones and I think I'm, I'm going to keep this one I think sealed like this because I think it looks sweet and like I said he said there's like 500 or so of them just with this because they they're special because they have the try me button or something on them. And they, I don't think they made that many about this. But I haven't really checked it out too much. But I think this is I think this is awesome in general. I don't care how rare it is or whatever. It could be sold on every corner. But these sweet things are awesome. I, and I really enjoy this. I'm glad that I won that. And, you know, he thanked me for taking part in it. No, thank you, man, for, you know, doing such a great little giveaway and reaching out to the community and doing more out there with the retro gaming community because that's you know what some of this is more fun more fun making friends than just getting views than just getting subscribers um, I've heard a lot of youtubers say you know especially with the regrets and stuff later on that it's a lot more it's more fun to have a hundred dedicated subscribers that love your stuff that turn into your friends you know random people you meet on the internet better to have a hundred subscribers that actually like and lost your stuff and talk to you than to have, you know, a thousand subscribers, you know, 10,000 subscribers that just pop in every once in a while and just, eh, you know, and yeah, it's the truth. I, I, I've met so many cool people this, doing this, um, people from the United States, people across the seas, and there's even a couple people that I talk to that... I don't even speak English, but we use Google Translate every once in a while to kind of translate messages back and forth. So that's all it's fun, you know. It's a great community. Um, I don't even think I've really ever met one jerk yet, so that's always a good thing. So thanks, guys. So uh, we have one more. So this is really sweet. Now, uh, I have not really been around for the Commodore. I, you know, let's see. Uh, I was born in 1987, so I'm 32 years old. Um, some of that stuff passed me, so the NES was my first real gaming experience. Um, a little bit of Atari, but that was kind of more of a hand-me-down when I was really, really young. I don't remember too much of that. So NES and Sega Genesis were my first real consoles and my consoles and you know my first real exper experiences in video games. So this guy, um, a part of a group on Facebook, it's called, I think it was Iowa Retro Gaming Nation. Um, I think he's got like a thousand members or something like that. Really cool guy. Uh, did just a random thing. 
started a post and said, you know what, I got this game. If anybody can guess what this game is, I'll ship it to you. So I'm always down for playing games and doing stuff like that. So, you know, honestly, I, I didn't think I was going to get it. But I got in on the contest almost, I think, 12 hours later, and all these people had already guessed and stuff. Well, then he started throwing out hints. Well, then he threw out a kind of hints that kind of, to me, gave it away because all he did was, you know, showed the first two letters of each word and then I kind of guessed it right so so I have a Commodore 64 game and we have Congo Bongo which I know nothing about all I know is that it was made by Sega I don't know how well you can read that Ooh. but it looks really sweet and like I told uh, a couple people in there I can't really play it but it'll make a cool conversation piece plus you know I can show it off in the game room Maybe someday I'll get a Commodore 64. Who knows? Probably be hard to get one, especially in my area, unless I pay big bucks. So we'll try sometime. But, but there you go, guys. Uh, you know, once again, happy Thanksgiving. Thanks for watching. I know I kind of rambled on in the middle there. Uh, happy Thanksgiving. Thanks for watching. Did I ever say that? Of course, I said that. I always say that. Now. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you enjoy this video and you're not a subscriber, uh, check out my other videos. If you like them, subscribe. If you don't like them, you don't have to subscribe. I'm not going to force you. Uh, comment below what you like, what you didn't like, what some of your pickups are. I'm always down to watch people's videos, so uh, I get some free time, especially when I'm on nights or at work and stuff, and there ain't much going on. You know, I'm there about 12 and a half hours, so if I get some free time, I'm always down for watching videos. All is down for uh, subbing, for subbing with people that are actually going to be uh, in the community that will actually comment and check stuff out and don't just do the the, the build your sub count thing. If you're going to watch my videos and be uh, what do I want to say? If you're going to you know be positive member and stuff like that, and even if you won't, don't you know it's fine. But just let me know, because if I will sub and sub with you, I will check out your videos. I will tell you what I think, and if I like them, I'll let you know. And you know what? I'll always be there to support another YouTuber, especially a small time guys where, you know, this is a hobby. This isn't, you know, uh, yeah, it's a hobby. It's not a profitable thing that I'm trying to do. I do this because I have a lot of free time when I go to the night shift, and I love video games, and I love interacting with you guys, and. First, I was a little shy about this kind of stuff, but I'm starting to get more into the rhythm. Starting to get more of my personality out, and I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am. And, uh, yeah, so we'll end this video now. Don't ramble on anymore. We're coming up on 20 minutes. Uh, yeah, so I'll just shut my big mouth. You guys can check out my mustache for No Shave November because I can't grow a beard for work, but... Keep on keeping on, guys. Stay retro and have yourself a great rest of your November.